There's been a lot of discussion in Canada about free speech and the right to demonstrate lately. So let me tell you what I don't think the right to demonstrate includes. You don't have the right to intimidate people from entering buildings. You don't have the right to block people in a building for hours and not let them leave because you're barricading the doors and they're afraid to leave. You do not have a right to take away other people's free speech. And essentially, when you stop people from going into buildings because you're scaring them and intimidating them, and they want to hear a speaker, you're taking away their rights. Rights in Canada are subject to reasonable limits. And when you exercise your rights, you can't take away the rights of others. Another thing that is an issue is speech. Now, we shouldn't only be judged on whether we've taken speech to a criminal level. All we can do as a government is say, you can't cross that line. But in polite society, you shouldn't need to be told that there's other lines that you can't cross. If you know that what you're yelling scares and intimidates other people, if you know that what you're yelling to another group constitutes a call for genocide against them, and you could say in other words what you want to say, why on earth would you be using the words that cause pain and harm and fear to another group? And so I call on all Canadians exercising their legitimate rights to demonstrate to do so judiciously and to uphold the law. And I call on police to enforce the law. I call on politicians to support police in their enforcement of the law and to tell police that they will support them prosecuting where it is warranted. Because we all as Canadians have a right to live in peace and security in our country.